When someone's thriving music career abruptly comes to an end, we can't help but wonder, what was the reason behind it? Well, here comes the mystery of Lauren Hill, who was basically carrying music in her DNA but had to quit the fame and the industry almost entirely, leaving many fans devastated and sad. But did she leave on her own terms, or was she forced out of music by the industry giants? Well, I have some answers for you, so let's dig into this story. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Live Channel. I keep my eyes on the most discussed events in show business and always bring you the hottest updates. So Lauren Hill had talent and was at the height of her career when she suddenly decided to stop making music and the speculations that she was forced out of the industry are going around until this day. Did her quitting have something to do with her being brainwashed by the cult or was it offensive comments about her audience? And what role did the scandalous lawsuit played in it? Stay with me until the end of this video so you won't miss any detail. Despite being out of spotlight for many years, Miss Lauren Hill is often regarded as one of the greatest rappers of all time, as well as one of the most influential musicians of her generation. She was literally at the peak of her music career with her album, The Miss Education of Lauren Hill, receiving rave reviews from contemporary music critics when she dropped out of the public eye for good. Rumors surrounding this unexpected turn of event were different. While some people said that Lauren quit show business herself, others are confident that she was too complicated to handle for the industry and was forced to end her career after releasing only one album. There were numerous speculations what exactly ended Lauren's career because she got involved in a series of scandalous traumas before she even turned 25, with one of them being her racist statement, and another involving her relationship with a married man and her band member Wyclef Jean. At that time, both Jean and Hill were in relationships with other people as they continued their affair. At that time, Wyclef and Lauren were in the band called The Fugees and the success came to them with their second album, the score with its sales going into the millions. Unfortunately, with fame, there was also the price to pay, and for beautiful and talented Lauren, it was the public attention, which she definitely hasn't been ready for. The success sparkled a series of controversies which might have contributed to her abrupt end of career. First, the rumors about Lauren being racist started to circulate when she allegedly said that she would rather let her kids starve than have white people buy her albums. If she said that in 2023, well, I guess she would be canceled immediately. But back in 1996, it wasn't the reason why someone's career may go down in flames. But that certainly imprinted on people's memory. And although Lauren said that the meaning of her statement was completely twisted and she never meant such a thing, I guess it still was a huge stain on her reputation. And sadly for Hill, many other public scandals followed. Despite her band, the Fugees rocking at that time and even winning two Grammys, one for the best during performance, they made a decision to disband at the peak of their success. The official reason of the band falling apart was different creative vibes between the members. As Lauren herself said, you know, I had intended to be in the group forever until I found myself in circumstances where I felt the inner desire to express myself freely and openly without any constraint. However, many people believe that it was personal conflict between Lauren and Wyclef Jean. The problem has begun with their affair, which could have been pretty normal if it wasn't for the fact that Wyclef got married to his wife while still being involved with Lauren. The situation got even worse when Hill got pregnant and it wasn't until she gave birth that Wyclef found out that the child wasn't his. Apparently, that emotional roller coaster didn't bring any good vibes to the band and they eventually decided to split. Well, we all know that fame is a tough thing to handle, and there are many examples of celebrities cracking under pressure. But even with the band splitting up, Lauren was still determined to make music. It was impossible to take this part of her life away from her. Her solo album, The Mystication, sold more than 10 million albums and won five Grammys. Somewhere around that time, her second child was born, again with Rohan Marley, and apparently, the cruel tension in the show business had an impact on her life and well-being. Well, Lauren Hill's success has been almost as fast as it has been dramatic because the fame like hers came with a pressure and she was saying that the popularity was too much for her. As Lauren confessed in her heartfelt post, an entire operation trying to break an artist with a voice and knowledge of herself, way ahead of her time, was in motion. I was affected. My family was affected. My children were affected. Apparently, there was something, something darker going on and Lauren was smart to understand that quickly. She didn't want to be the toy in producer's hands and chose to quit music. Many people understand her decision because she was still young at that time and probably realized how much pressure and demands the success implies. One person commented, I loved Lauren, she had a great voice. This industry is very cruel with a lot of pain and suffering. Very few have made it. And another person said, the whole music industry is toxic and insane. Labels, lawyers, and record companies, including all of the staff, all three make more money on an album than the artist himself or herself. And although Lauren obviously planned to leave quietly, she got dragged into a series of scandals, which caused her hitting headlines, sharing the details of her being taken to court and associating with a cult. I guess someone did actually want to ruin her and used all his influence to shatter the 23-year-old girl. 
the lawsuit with a group of musicians who claimed that they weren't properly credited for their effort in making her solo album. Misty Jason drained a lot of strength from her. Despite the suit being settled out of court, Lauren still had to pay a huge chunk of money to hush the greedy musicians. She reportedly paid $5 million for the scandal to be over. But I guess that punishment wasn't enough for those who swore to ruin her. She later was accused of being brainwashed and involved into some cult. The news about Lauren being associated with a spiritual advisor named Brother Anthony filled the media, and it was even said that the cult was trying to make her sewer all ties with her family and friends. Amid the rumors, Lauren herself behaved quite strangely. It was reported that she went to Miami and tried to make a new record with several artists and begged them to collaborate with her in the name of God, which everyone interpreted as for free. At around the same time, there was an attempt to announce the short reunion of her old band, The Fugees, but that actually never meant to happen. It was largely speculated if Lauren was in her sound mind with everything she was trying to do. And again, the rumors about her bipolar disorder quickly filled the headlines. And that was not the end of the story because the industry continued to wear Hill out. This time, the officials. If you don't know, in 2012, Lauren was charged with tax evasion for failing to pay $1.8 million in federal taxes. She faced more than two years in prison. Her attorney helped to argue the time down, saying that Hill didn't falsify or file fake returns and that other celebrities were spared prison. In a tearful statement, Hill, by that time, a single mother of six, said she didn't want to be away from her children. Nevertheless, the judge reasoned that defendant does not deserve a get out of jail card and in 2013, Lauren served three months in prison. Basically, at that time, Lauren couldn't even make any big gigs or work with anyone because of such a reputation. Well, despite being a wonderful songwriter and performer, she couldn't win that battle against the powerful industry that swore to destroy her career. So instead, she decided to focus on her kids and life and leave the dirt of show business behind. She shared her emotions from going on through these scandals in her statement saying, I began to face trials like scores of tentacled obstructionists, politics, repressing agendas, unrealistic expectations and saboteurs everywhere. People had included me in their own narratives of their successes as it pertained to my album. And if this contradicted my experience, I was considered an enemy. Apparently, the price Lauren had to pay to stay in the spotlight was too much for her. And she made a brave decision to quit before anything bad happened to her. We know a lot of examples how show business was ruining people's minds and lives. And even the toughest celebrities are not protected from the pressure and dramas. It seems like Lauren had to sacrifice her success and retrieve from the battlefield filled with people who tried to destroy her. And that's why many people still admire her guts. Many of her fans are confident that she may be back anytime if she chooses to, but this may not be possible anymore. One person wrote, Lauren Hill will always have a pathway back to musical success because she's capable and blessed with intelligence, talent, and ability. And another person added, all I can say is Lauren Hill obviously didn't sell Get Soul and they've been trying to make her look crazy ever since. Just listen to her unplugged me TV performance. She literally says, I get out. Well, it seems like there was a plot to make Lauren leave the stage for good and there are many hidden details, which she hints at during her interviews. But she was stronger than anyone and decided to quit on her terms, leaving the things she loved doing the most behind. And what do you reckon? Was Lauren actually not vibing with the music industry? Or was there a plot to get rid of her and she only saved herself by leaving in time? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you're thinking. And in the meantime, check my other video about celebrities and their careers. For example, how Wendy Williams is trying to get back. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I promise to be back very soon with a new portion of gossip about your favorite celebrities.